my bangs are a mess today and they're not staying in place uh, so bear with me hey dolls so today i have a november favorites for you guys i don't have a ton of favorites but i have a few to dabble on into and kind of share with you guys so i guess without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into this i guess i'm gonna start with stuff other than makeup because that won't take me as much time to talk about whereas the makeup items i kind of want to touch a little bit more into detail with them so uh first and foremost i guess let's talk about clothing uh this sweater has been one of my absolute new favorite clothing pieces i cannot stop wearing it i am obsessed with it i love it so much this was in my recent dolls kill haul if you have not seen it i will link it on the screen right here but it is just so warm and cozy and i am just it's literally the perfect shade of pink and it is just it's the best so I will go ahead and link this exact sweater in the description box down below but I'll also link that video on the side of the screen so you guys can go watch the full haul to see what else I got from Dolls Kill but this is definitely a favorite one of the tops for sure then the next clothing piece I recently went to Ross Ross dress for less I hadn't been in a long time and I love Ross so much. I have been wanting to get more leggings. I have recently started working out, doing daily uh, like exercises, cardio, things like that. And I really wanted to get just some more leggings, not necessarily specifically only to work out in, but just to wear because they're really comfortable. And I don't know, you can just dress them up or dress them down or do with them however you will uh, but I went to Ross without the intention of buying any leggings there uh, because I did order some of the Gymshark leggings that were on sale for Black Friday uh, I did place an order on there but I went to Ross and I saw these and as soon as I touched them I could not put them down now these are only a one size so it's supposedly like one size fits all or whatever I am typically a size medium and these are a tad loose I would size down if I could but because it's a one size I can't really do that so they are a tiny bit loose on the waistband but that is fine these are so soft so comfy I'm not exactly sure the material on these I know the inside though is fleece lined and that's what made me you want them so much because these are going to be so warm and toasty in the cold months oh yes it does polyester and spandex so it's a polyester spandex blend so that's half the reason they keep you so warm is because they are polyester but oh my gosh these just feel so cozy I have been wearing these non-stop and this isn't typically something I would go for like style wise but I can definitely dress this up to be more pastel and cutesy with like pastel pink uh tops cardigans shoes etc and these are just these are the best. Uh, I'm not sure what brand these are. I cut the tag off, but um, they're they're so great. I paid $11 for them, and yeah, I wish I would have kept the tag so I could show you guys like what brand they were and stuff, but I did get them at Ross, so maybe keep an eye out for them there, but they're so comfy. Oh my gosh. Okay, enough talk about just those. Okay, then those are my only two clothing items that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, also, the shirt that I'm wearing right now isn't necessarily a favorite, but I know I'm going to get questions on it. I got this from Romwe, and I just did a Romwe Black Friday haul, so if you want to see that video, again, it'll be linked on the screen, so you can go check that out. I love Romwe. I've purchased from them a few times, and they were kind enough to send me a bunch of stuff for their Black Friday sale that I could kind of show you guys and do a haul of. So that is there if you guys want to go watch that in case you missed it. Uh, moving on to, okay, I guess I'll show this next. This, I don't think I featured this in my last favorites video. I think I might have gotten this in October. I don't think I got it in November. I don't remember. I don't, I'm not sure if I even showed this to you guys before or not, but this is a beautiful, beautiful fantasy pin by Mermaids Without Tails on Instagram. It literally spelled exactly how it sounds. Mermaids Without Tails. No capitals, no spaces, no special characters or anything. Just Mermaids Without Tails on Instagram. Uh, she designed this beautiful, beautiful Maid Marion pin. 
and as soon as I saw the mock-up design for this, I had to pre-order it. I think it was about $35 with shipping included if you pre-ordered, but without pre-ordering, I think it was like $40 or something like that. Not 100% sure. Usually I can't justify spending that much on a pin, but because Made Marion has such sparse merch and this pin is so big and limited edition, this says limited edition of 70. So there's only 70 of these out there and mine is one of them. This is just so beautiful. I love her long lashes and the beautiful color scheme that is going on right here. It is beautiful. It says uh, Made Marion and then it has at uh, Mermaids Without Tails and then limited edition of 70 on the back right there. I know it's kind of hard to read on camera, but that is on there. And I have this just put up on my pin board. That's why there's no backs on it right now. But this pin is glorious. It is definitely one of my ultimate favorite pins in my entire collection, probably. Probably within the top 10 for sure. And it's just so beautifully done. And I... I love it so much. Okay, the next item that I have for you guys that is kind of a little collectible accessory. I recently ordered this mug from Cuddle Clones. And if you guys weren't familiar with or you don't remember, uh, I did a Cuddle Clones video because I had my dog turned into a plush through Cuddle Clones and I did a whole video about this also. So if you wanna see my Cuddle Clones unboxing review, etc., that'll be linked on the screen. But this is of my dog, Rebel. He is a little Shih Tzu and this turned out so cute. But I have been loving Cuddle Clones so much. They have so many um, cute custom things now. They have blankets and mugs and all kinds of stuff. So I wanted to get a mug of Rebel done. And so I just sent in my picture and then they had it like kind of painted and then printed on the mug and it turned out so beautiful like you can tell it looks kind of like a painting like almost oil or watercolor it's so cute his snaggle tooth is even there and then you can also pick your background and completely customize it i am in love with this these are also both dishwasher and microwave safe which is something i love i love being able to just throw them in the dishwasher when i'm done with them and being able to actually warm up my drinks in the microwave without having to warm it up separately and then put it in you know you catch my drift. This is adorable and I do have a coupon code for you guys. I'm not sure if they're doing a Black Friday sale or not, but I do have a coupon code for you guys. If you use it on the website, you can use it on anything and everything on there. I don't think there's a minimum purchase. Uh, so if you want to snag one of these for someone in your family as a holiday gift, that is a great option. This video is not sponsored by Cuddle Clones. I just absolutely love everything that I've gotten from them so far. And I did pay for this with my own money. Um, it was about $25 on sale, I believe. But it was, oh, it's so pretty. It's so worth it. I, uh, I am in love with it. And it just, it represents my baby so well. And I'm obsessed. Okay, now we can get into the, the real stuff here. Um, I'm going to do a full in-depth review. Revideo? Revideo. I'm going to do a whole in-depth review video on the Shane Dawson, uh, Jeffree Star. I almost said just Shane Dawson X Morphe, but I'm going to do a full collection on the Shane Dawson conspiracy collection that he did with Jeffree Star. Why is this open because I was just using it. Duh. Anyway, I got these items from the collection. I also got another lipstick, but I don't really like that one that much. So I'll talk about that in the full video. This is just a video about my favorites. So this palette and this palette, this is in my favorites for the fact that I love Shane and Jeffrey. And I love that they made this together and I loved seeing the in-depth process of everything. I know a lot of people were really bored with the series, but it's something that I really enjoyed and I really found super interesting. And it's not something that we see often. We don't see full-on documentaries of how a palette is thought up of and then created like through the entire process. So that was really interesting to see. And I'm personally glad that they didn't focus so much on the drama aspect that they teased in the trailer. I am glad that they showed the more business aspect of everything because that was something I was really interested in. And I have to say that these are definitely not my favorite palettes on the market. Like hands down 100%. This is not my aesthetic. This is not my style. This isn't necessarily my cup of tea. 
but it is one of those things that I had to have just from like watching the series and being a fan of both of them for so long. This was something that I was looking and looking forward to and anticipating like when they first announced like a year or so ago that they were going to create a palette. I told myself, I don't care what it looks like. I'm buying it just because I love them and I want to support them. And I love, I'll, I'll tell you guys, I love the top row and the Trisha shade is beautiful. And I love the not a fact shade and I haven't really played with the what's the tea shade, but it's a really pretty like mint blue color. A lot of these are super powdery. The formula isn't great on them and I find that they have a ton of fallout, but they are pretty pigmented for the most part. They are blendable and I find that you can create so many different looks from this palette, even though it isn't like the ideal go-to palette it still offers a lot for everybody in it. Like you can use the whole top row as like a subtle everyday glam look, or you can use the middle row if you want a little spice of pop of color, or you can use the bottom row if you want something more smoky and sultry, which I love. Or you can kind of just bounce around and use the rows, which is also what I was looking at, like these. Oh my gosh, these shades would look so pretty together. But it's definitely sporadic. The color story is kind of inconsistent, but you guys have to remember, Shane helped create this. Shane came up with the shades. Like, this is so good for someone who is ignorant with makeup. They had no previous experience. He did not make a palette before in his life. He had no idea how to go about creating a color story. He just picked names and pretty shades and threw them all together. And that's fine. And that's what pe people are being a little bit too harsh on this palette for the fact that it's all over the place and it's not really kind of unison, but you also have to remember this is Jeffree Star Cosmetics we're talking about. Like, he is anything but ordinary, so I understand the inconsistency in the color story, but at the same time, it's, I like it because it's not like everything else that you're going to see on the market. And it's Shane. And he was a, he was a nobody in the beauty community. You know, he's a huge YouTuber, but he was a nobody in the beauty community. He went out of his comfort zone and created something like this. Like, I'd like to see you guys do something like this with no knowledge going into it. Like, this is brilliant. So I love this in the fact that Shane did what he did and Jeffrey helped him through it and they created something that is beautiful. The packaging, oh, the packaging is immaculate. This palette is heavy duty, beautiful, definitely, definitely unique. You are not just gonna go into Walmart and see this. You're not even gonna go into Sephora and see this. This is something that is so custom and unique and luxurious and I love that. Now, the mini is about the same. Honestly, I like the color story of this more. Hands down, I like the color story of this so much more than the main Conspiracy palette. Now, they have recently said that they are going to replace Diet Root Beer with the unnamed green shade, which, praise Jesus, hallelujah, even though I don't wear green, that shade was glorious, and it literally does need put back. And we can do without Diet Root Beer because it's just basic, and if you have both palettes, you already have that shade anyway, so we don't need her. Um, I love this color story a lot more. I think it's... I, and that could just be me, like, I'm more drawn to the purples and the blues. That could just be me, but overall, I do genuinely like this palette more than the full size, but these are both a favorite just for the fact that I am so proud of Shane for coming this far and sticking to something that was completely out of his comfort zone, and crushing it. Like I said, I will be doing a full in-depth review video on this separately. I know I'm a little late on the bandwagon. I probably won't get it up for another week or so. Sorry, not sorry, but I know a lot of people didn't get it. I can share my experience during checkout that I went through all of the struggle and agony with you guys, but for now, these are in my favorites because I am so proud of Shane for what he has done. Now, an actual legitimate favorite from the collection is in my hand right now. Oh my gosh. This is the Ryland Liquid Lipstick. And I'm going to tell you guys right now. They said that these smell like Diet Root Beer. But in my opinion, they smell more like black licorice. Like, to be real. <laughs> and I am not a black licorice fan. I know a lot of people out there are, including my own mother. But 
I don't like that. I do smell, if you guys remember those like root beer, like little barrel shaped hard candies, that's what they smell like. But if you like, the more you start smelling it, the more it starts to smell like black licorice. And I'm, I'm just not a fan of that. But luckily the smell kind of disperses the longer you wear it on your lips. Now, the shade is gorgeous i love pairing this with other lipsticks like using this on top or just like in the center i have this paired on top right now uh what i have underneath of it is the jeffree star cosmetics christmas cookie liquid lipstick that i think he released a year or two ago um it's a beautiful nude shade and this goes beautifully over top of it however i have been using this on my eyelids all the time <laughs> Like I will use like a purple eyeshadow palette or like mauve colors or even nude shades or like brown neutrals and I will pop this over my lid as like a half cut crease or something kind of like what I'm wearing right now even though this isn't on my lids right now but it's uh, the same style and I'll just pop it like in that half cut crease and it is beautiful like this is gorgeous and because it is the jeffree star liquid lip they are eye safe as well as lip safe and even cheek safe so you can use this on your eyelid as like an eyeshadow or a liner or whatever you want and i highly recommend if you have this and you have not put it on your eyelids yet praise jesus hallelujah you need to <laughs> because your life will be changed whether you are into bright bold colors or you are into neutrals or just light glam or heavy glam full glam put this on your eyelids just do it just do it once and tell me that you haven't completely fallen in love with it this is such a good universal shade i am so pale that i thought this wasn't really gonna look good on me but I love this shade so much. And I have seen this on darker skin tones as well, like on the eyelids, and it just pops 10 times better. But even though I'm pale, like it's still good on me. So I highly, highly recommend the Ryland Liquid Lipstick. If you can only get one lipstick out of the whole collection. <sighs> Hands down, Ryland. So good. Get this. <laughs> anyway, moving on, my last and final favorite for the month of November is a baby that I have been wanting for quite some time. Just ignore the little goobers on the front of the packaging here. But this is a Morphe palette, and the only other Morphe palette I have is the Morphe X James Charles palette. And I've been wanting a different palette from them for quite some time, but I didn't know which one to get, and none of them kind of really stood out to me until this little baby was announced and released. And I wanted it so bad. This is the Such a Gem palette. And I don't know if these shades are going to come off good on camera. Because it is a black background. And sometimes you can't really see properly. But. But oh my goodness. These. Oh my gosh. These shades. Hopefully this is coming off on camera. No. They're, they're like up against a black background. So it's really hard to see. Oh maybe if I turn it this way. Okay. There you can kind of see the shades. There are pictures of this all over website and Instagram as well too. So there's swatches everywhere that you guys can check out. But yes, this is the Such a Gem palette. And honestly, this is, uh, dare I say, my favorite palette in my entire makeup collection. Would you guys like to see an eyeshadow palette collection video? Is that something you guys would be interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. I think I've gotten that requested a few times other than just like a whole makeup collection. I kind of want to do an eyeshadow palette collection. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that and I could definitely think about doing that for sure. But this palette is so beautiful. I love these um, glittery shadows. I am wearing this palette on my lids today. And it is just so pretty. I am in love with the pinks and the purples. And even over here with the more neutral browns and mauves. I am obsessed with this shade down here. And this one, I used both of these to blend in the crease and on the outer corner. Um, this is just beautiful. I love the Morphe palettes so much. They're just... Oh, they're so good. I will say that the glitter ones apply better just with your finger rather than a brush or even a damp brush. I found that the best payoff is when I just apply it with my finger on its own. So keep that in mind, but I have to swatch for you guys. I wish, 
<laughs> I wish more of these shades were this formula right here. I have yet to use this on my actual eyes, but this glitter shade right here is literally everything. I think I'm going to use it on my lids for Thanksgiving because it is such a beautiful... It's kind of like rose gold, but it's also like bronzy at the same time, but it is just straight like glitter. Like, oh, this is so beautiful. So you can see it is better like when you pack it on rather than like swipe it on, but it does like blend out fairly well. So if you did want to blend it out with your finger and make it a little bit more sparse or blending into other places, you definitely can. It is so, look at it on my freaking fingers still. I love the rest of the palette so much, so I'm so excited to try this because it is just so, 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 so pretty and oh my gosh, this is going to look so good. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to use this on Thanksgiving probably. All right, and that is actually it for my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any of the same favorites or if you want to get your hands on any of the things that I mentioned. Don't forget, I do have the coupon code for Cuddle Clones that will be in the description box below, as well as as many links to these items as I can find. They will be in the description box down below. So if you want to get your hands on them, you can. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye!